Welcome back to the morning show. It's Wise Guy Wednesday, and our wise guy, Matt Sellen, is here, and he's uh, very timely display this morning. We had some thunderstorms overnight, and you're here to explain how lightning actually is generated. Right. I woke up at five this morning, and I heard thunder, and I saw lightning outside. And I thought, cool. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Now we've got man-made. <laughs> exactly right. And so it all has to do with separation of charges. And you might remember from school that that uh, like like charges attract each other. Right. And uh, I'm mean, sorry, like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract. And so if you have a bunch of positive charges in one place and a bunch of negative charges in another place, they'll tend to want to jump from one place to the other to get together. And that's it's like the north and south poles on a magnet. Yeah, and so what happens if, if you walk across the carpet in your stocking feet in the wintertime and you grab a doorknob, you sometimes feel a little spark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what's happening as you rub yourself against the carpet is you're, you're getting yourself all charged up, so maybe you're all positive and the doorknob might be all negative and you get a little spark where those things try to get together. And that's what happens up in the clouds when, when you have lightning generated. But bigger. But much, much, much bigger. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, lightning is, is hotter than the surface of the sun, it turns out. I was reading up on this stuff last night. And also something I didn't realize was people don't quite agree on how this charging mechanism works inside the clouds themselves. Right. Is that correct? You're yeah, there's stuff. different schools of thought. Uh, mostly it's the, the, the ice crystals is what I always right. understood. And then the top part of a thunderstorm cloud rubbed together, which is the Action. equivalent of the feet on the carpet. Mm -hmm. But it's the discharge thing that people mm -hmm. begin to disagree on. That's so. right. And so, so anyways, you have, because of ice crystals and water and things moving back and forth, up and down inside a cloud, you end up with the bottom of the cloud being negatively charged and the top of the cloud being positively charged. I think that's the way it goes. Right. And, uh, and then you, have, you can have sparks jumping within the cloud itself, or you can have sparks jumping from the bottom of the cloud down to the ground. And these, of course, are huge sparks. Yes. And so we can, going new. we can do that right here. So here we have a device called a Van de Graaff, and it's just a rubber band that goes round and round. And sort of using friction, basically, it moves charges up and deposits a bunch of charge on this top thing. Mm -hmm. So you will end up with a bunch of positive charges here, negative charges down there. And when I turn this thing on and I bring close to it this steel ball, on over, eh? which I've attached with a wire my hairspray. to the bottom. <laughs> he was kidding. Okay, <laughs> what I'm going to do is turn this thing on. If you can get sort of tight on that, you'll see sparks. What's happening here is that we're putting a bunch of positive charge on this big sphere. And we have negative charges on the little sphere, just because it's attached to the bottom of this thing with a wire you can't see. Mm -hmm. And you see the sparks jumping across on this thing. And so you can actually get millions of, of volts generated between the positive part and the negative part on this very easily. Uh, wow. Even on this little machine? Oh, millions. Many, many. Yes, yes. It takes tens of thousands of volts per inch for a spark to, right. get, to jump. And so this thing can throw very long sparks. So in the next segment, we're going to attach one of our people to this thing and watch their hair fly around. I think it's very <laughs> interesting. So I volunteered for Which the duty, people? but on me, you're not going to notice it. So Anne, Anne gets the job, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, it's Matt Sullen. He's our Wise Guy. It is Wise Guy Wednesday on the morning show. We'll be back to check in with him more a little bit later. Jennifer? Timely for us, too. Oh, it is weather time. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's uh, time now for...